He's been America's funny man since before you were born. But he's also starred in thousands of music videos, opened for Tenacious D, and performed, yes, performed at Madison Square Garden, a show the New York Times referred to as the greatest night of his career. That is, of course, until tonight. Frankly, it's been too long. So it's time once again to say hello to Red Eye favorite Neil Hamburger. He knows jokes like I know spokes. Yes, I still rock the Schwinn. So, Neil, it's been a while since we've seen you. Where the heck have you been? Well, I've been in every state in the Union and a couple that haven't been admitted to the Union yet. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Who have you been performing with? Usually this, uh, this idiot illusionist who always forgets to remove his trap door from the stage before mm -hmm. my set. Mm -hmm. But uh, I did do a few shows over the weekend with a guy that uh, milks unicorns on stage. Really? And then just uh, the weekend before that, I did a couple of regional shows with uh, Tim Heidecker from the great Tim and Eric Awesome Show. Mm-hmm. Nice. And uh, we're doing, we're starting, we're starting a tour this Wednesday in Milwaukee. It's a 950-day tour. Uh, over, uh, well, it's 950 shows over 706 days. Uh, That's with like the great five young years. Act JP Incorporated. That's like five well, years, you know, you've Neil. You've got to be competitive. <laughs> you're you're going to be on the road for until 2013. That's crazy. Well, at, at least I know I'll be alive until then. <laughs> that is true. That is true. How was Ireland? I, I, I know you went there. Was it a triumph or a failure? Yeah, I was on this bill at this uh, comedy festival, festival sponsored by the beer companies. Yeah. And it was a disaster, Greg, I'll tell you. We had 206 people in attendance, I believe, and only got three laughs all night long. Oh, my goodness. And I heard gasps of horror and disgust that uh, I haven't heard since I underwent that experimental uh, colon transplant that we talked about last time I was on the yeah. show. <laughs> you know, the thing is, I always learned with you, uh, Neil, that uh, you win your crowds over. Like, the first, for the first part of, a, uh, of a, when you're on a three-day event, uh, the first two days, you, you almost, you're almost murdered, but then you end up killing at the end. Don't you win them over? Well, I try. You know, it does take, uh, it does take a little bit of work. A lot of these people are drunkards or druggies, sickies. <laughs> Or even worse, just suburban uh, louts. <laughs> yes, <laughs> suburban louts. Were there any times when you felt your life was in danger? No, but there were times where I felt my fee was in danger, I'll tell you. <laughs> really? Hey, uh, have you seen this movie, Funny People? You're a comedian, so I'm, I'm I I'd like to know how funny you thought it was. No, I didn't see that. I don't watch hate propaganda. How was, it, how was, that, how was that movie, Hate Propaganda? Well, they obviously hate me, or they would have put me in the movie. <laughs> that is so uh -huh. true, Neil. Now, Neil, you know, the country's been talking a lot about health care, and I know that you care about health. What, what are your thoughts on this current crisis? Hey, I would love it if someone cared about my health. Uh, you don't have a health care plan? I don't have a, a plan, per se. I do have a lead on 99-cent cough syrup. As, uh, as all my fans out there know, I do have quite a bad case of undiagnosed cancer. Really? It's undiagnosed. But, uh, That's yeah. a shame. <clears throat> I'm afraid, though, Greg, I have to say, I, I don't know what uh, this show's feelings are on the controversy, but I'm afraid that if I don't get health care soon, I'll be one of many legendary entertainers who will be left to fend for themselves and probably will end up uh, in a local landfill. Oh, that would and be a shame. Uh, then you can all watch test patterns, huh? <laughs> How do you take care of yourself anyway? Well, I add Clorox bleach to my vodka tonics to kill off any germs from the bartender's <laughs> thumb. Mm, I don't think we'll be suggesting our viewers to do the same. It sounds a little dangerous. Has anything been bothering you lately? No, it's healthy. <laughs> Is it healthy? <clears throat> I think. Uh, bothering me? Yeah, my, uh, my game show pilot was uh, rejected by the network, Greg. Mm. And, uh, you know, I don't know if you know, we produced, myself and Tim and Eric, we shot a game show called The New Big Ball mm -hmm. with Neil Hamburger. <laughs> and, uh, well, anyway, the show was not well received by the networks, and it was not picked up. What, uh, what was so, the game uh, show about? Well, it was about a series of games uh, that would be played by idiot contestants. These people were complete idiots. Yes. Uh, and then hosted by a, a young, uh, positive-thinking, forward-thinking uh, game show host portrayed by myself. Oh, really? Uh, and they didn't go for it. That's a shame. I could see that doing really, really well. 
Get a petition going. You've got the power. <laughs> I do have it's the good power. That he's a forward thinking. He is a forward. I think that's important. He's yeah. forward um, lastly, are there any celebrity stories you'd like to discuss, Neil? Geez, that's a tough one. You know, it's been a very slow couple of months for uh, celebrity news. Yes, it Can't has. really think of anything that's happened, major or minor, with any celebrities uh, <laughs> since, you know, geez, in the last six, seven weeks. That is true. That is true. Well, you'll always, be, you'll always be my favorite celebrity, Neil. And uh, congratulations on your... And likewise. <laughs> congratulations on your 10-year tour. And best <laughs> of luck with your country and Western career, music career. I'm looking forward to another album. Coming up next, thank you, Neil Hamburger. Coming up next, Mail Time.